Smartphones are great, aren't they? They're small enough to go in our pocket. We take them with us everywhere. But I'm starting to see an interesting trend, and I'm sure you are too. We have phablets. We have tablets. We have mini tablets. We have all this other stuff. Why? Because the screen on the smartphone, well, it just might be too small to do a lot of the stuff that we want to do. So what do we do? Do we carry around two devices, a smartphone and a tablet or a phablet or a mini tablet or a whatever we're calling it this week? Then I've got my data across two different devices. Or maybe I have it stored in the cloud and I have to sync it over my limited use data plan to two different devices, thereby using twice as much data. Sounds like a conspiracy from the carriers, doesn't it? But it's separate. Isn't there something that I can do to bring a, a tablet or even like a, a laptop experience to my smartphone? Well, some people think there are, of course. Asus has their pad phone. Motorola has their discontinued product. That's all we'll say about that. Is there something that you can do with a device that wasn't specifically designed for being convertible? Well, I've got something in hand today. You're either going to love this or you're going to hate it. But I want to show it to you because I think the idea is really cool. It's another product from OnLab. It's a battery powered monitor. Let's go take a look. Now, if you remember my last video that had to do with portable monitors, it was kind of interesting. I had this kind of Frankenstein of cords and all you guys were saying, I can do this so much easier with this or with that or with the other. Well, apparently these guys over at G Chic were, were listening. So what we've got now, this is a battery powered monitor. It has speakers back here. If you can see one over on that side, one over on this side. It's got these nice controls over on the side. It even has this little magnetic mount if you want to put a little cradle for your, your smartphone or even a tablet if you wanted to right in here. Over on this side, we've got an on off switch. We've got a power in, that's via a micro USB connector. We've got a VGA port in and it comes with an adapter so you can take VGA or uh, with the right connections you could even do DVI and plug it in here. But these are the two things that I'm really excited about. It's got MHL so if you've got an MHL connection, theoretically, and I couldn't get this to work on my device but I've only got one device to try on, I could take this and with one cord plug it from this port into my smartphone and that's it. I'm done. I have sound, I have power, I have video all coming through this one little connector. Again, for whatever reason, I couldn't get that to work, so I had to go over here to my HDMI port. So this HDMI is like you saw before. It comes with a cable. This is what it looks like uh, this round. Just a nice little 90 degree connector there. And then on the other end, it's got an HDMI connector. So into that, I'm going to plug my Samsung HDMI adapter that plugs into the micro USB port in the bottom of my Galaxy Nexus and then right in there. Now one downside to this, it does have to be powered. Okay, so if that's an, through an MHL connection, great, it'll work, uh, but I don't have the right cables to do that. So in this case, I do have to provide power to this little guy right there. So let's go ahead and hook everything up, show you how it works. Go ahead and plug that in, take my USB power, plug that in. Now, all of this can stay wherever you've got your monitor. So if you want to set up like a virtual workstation, fabulous, you can do that. Let's go ahead and set the monitor up. It comes with these cool little brick things. Of course, you wouldn't have to use these if you had a, another kind of stand, but it's quick, it's easy, it doesn't require any kind of permanent mounting. If I can get everything to fit down there. And, and that's it. I've got a monitor now that I can set up anywhere and have an instant workstation, or I can have that sitting on my lap. Then I need to take this cord, plug it in over here to this connector, just like that. And of course, I can route that cable wherever I want to get it out of the way. Next, I've got my smartphone. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. This, like I said, is the Galaxy Nexus. And I'm just going to plug this connector into the bottom. 
We're gonna fire up some Netflix. We're gonna play some Star Trek Enterprise. I've got audio coming from the back of the monitor, which might be an issue because you're firing the sound away from you. Well, most tablets do that these days. Some of the new ones are changing. The display is pretty good. You can see I'm viewing the entire screen and it is 720, so that's fabulous. That's great. I can now have this solution, not quite as portable as you might think, right there and on the go. Now, what else can you do with this? If you've got a Bluetooth keyboard, you can very quickly and easily tether up a keyboard and have a full screen text input experience. Really kind of cool. We've seen something like this in the past with Windows Mobile, taking it way back to like 2008, where there was literally a clamshell dock that had a screen and a keyboard and you would pair your device up to it. Make sure you head over to pocketnow.com. I'll have a link down at the bottom of this video so that you can take a trip back in time and see what we were doing way back then. This, this is my workstation on the go. This can very easily go into a briefcase or a backpack. I can have big screen movie watching if I want to, or at least bigger screen than I could on a tablet. And I can have a, a workstation right there with that keyboard or even a Bluetooth mouse if I wanted to. Really kind of a cool concept. I like the whole uh, mobile desk warrior concept. Interested to know what you think about it. For more information about the product, and uh, if you want to give us some ideas and thoughts and let us know if they've improved the design, head over to pocketnow.com and let us know. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.